Hey you guys, it's a girl Queen Temple, and yes, you can believe your eyes, it is another video. I'm going to tell you what you do and don't need to do before you go to college. So before I keep rambling, let's go straight into this video. The first thing is do make sure you make your semester schedule and you check it one trillion times. I cannot stress this enough. Like, check that thing as many times as you need to. You like me at our college today helped us make our own schedules while we were at our orientation during the summertime which was a really good move on their part because we were able to see how to make them for the semesters to come and then we were able to see what we needed to do to graduate what classes we need to take all kinds of stuff like that now even though you're gonna have people helping you it's possible that they can make mistakes or you can make a mistake or somebody just may not know what's going on for real, so it's very important that you ask as many questions as you need to. Don't think you're being annoying by asking questions. It's important, like, what you put on your schedule is important to when you're going to graduate. And you want to be out of there in four years, like, four years or less. Just going right out of there. The first don't is don't buy your textbooks, okay? Do not buy your textbooks before you go to college. Now, I know this kind of sounds crazy because... It's like, okay, well, um, are I supposed to be prepared? Yes, you're supposed to be prepared, but not with textbooks, okay? A lot of times in the classes, the professor may tell you that you need this textbook, and you guys may not even use it. It really just depends, so it's important for you to go to that class first. And especially, like, on that first day, the professor is going to more than likely tell you, like, what you need and the requirements for the class. So, just wait and kind of go with the flow when it comes to textbooks. Next thing is do email your professors. This isn't mandatory, but I'm just saying this because I did it. You just want to email your professors about a week before classes start and just let them know what your name is, what class you're going to be in, that they teach. And this is also a perfect time to ask them exactly what textbooks or other, any kind of other materials that have been needed for that class. Don't buy school supplies. This is almost the equivalent to buying textbooks. There isn't going to be a list of school supplies you'll need for college. They're not going to tell you, oh, you need a binder, this and that. Like, you just kind of like have to wait and just kind of fill out the class and see what you need. Speaking from my experience, for most classes, I only needed like a notebook and pens and pencils and stuff like that because you'll be like listening to lectures, so you'll be taking notes and stuff like that. So if you're going to buy anything, I recommend just buying pens, pencils, and notebooks. And you may need like a binder. Oh, definitely buy a planner. This is so essential. Like, I didn't buy a planner before I went to college. One of my teachers like made it homework and made it a grade for us to buy a planner. And I'm so grateful for this because a planner is so important. Like, especially when you're first starting off, you just... You need to know when all your tests are, like, because the teachers aren't going to tell you, like, you can walk in one day and you can have a test and be like, There's no test. So, teachers are definitely not going to tell you when the homework is due, okay? Especially if you have, like, online classes and stuff like that. It's just, believe me when I say it is 100% important to buy a planner. So, buy a planner. Do get to know your roommate or meet your roommate if possible. Um, if you're in a situation, really mom? My mom takes the key. Hi, mom. If you're in a situation where you do have to have a roommate or even a sweet mate, you do want to get to meet this person to kind of fill out their personality, get to know them. I'll definitely do another video on roommates, but you definitely want to just discuss with them both of your expectations for the room and different type of stuff like that. Like, you want to get to know this person. It's extremely important. Don't forget to dot your I's and cross your T's, okay? By this, I mean, don't forget anything that's going to hinder you from being able to continue on with your semester and starting college if you don't get it done. This is anything from housing, applications, payments, anything like that. Just pay a lot of attention to deadlines and when stuff is due because it's very important and if you miss something like that, they're going to cut you off and it's like you have to stop everything you're doing and it's very important to just make sure you pay attention to deadlines and when you have to have stuff done. 
do know what your room is going to look like and do buy items for your room. This is very important, okay? You want to look at the website of your college and see exactly what your room is going to look like if you haven't already toured it. You do want to know what the room is going to look like just so you can know exactly what you may need. It's almost inevitable that you'll have to go to the store on your moving day anyway, but you don't want to wait until the last minute to get everything because those items do add up a lot and it's way easier if you start from right now instead of trying to start way in August or whenever it is you don't let anyone make this decision for you. You definitely want to get a place where you can spend all four years and that you'll like, you know you'll really enjoy it. So you don't want anyone else to interfere with that. A lot of people I know base their college decisions off of like social media and oh what's the most lit school and stuff like that. But don't let other people decide what you're going to do as far as where you go to college because it's so many important decisions and you have to choose what's the best for you. And that one brings me to do tour the school. I can tell you it's a group of people now at the school who didn't tour this school and now they don't like it and I just can't imagine that. Like I would hate that. You definitely want to tour it because you want to see what the environment is like. You want to see what the student life is like. Um, get you a tour while school is in session so that you know what's going on and you see what's going on. For some people, the tour just solidifies your decision. For me, I toured the October of my senior year and as soon as I finished the tour, I automatically knew this is exactly where I wanted to go. That was just it for me. So it, I think touring the school is very, very important. Just so you can feel the vibe and the energy of the school. And lastly, most importantly, do not stress yourself out about this process, okay? It is an extremely common process. You're going to go through it every single year. Move-in day. It's going to feel so stressful, but it's also going to be so exciting. And college itself is going to be stressful, but also very exciting. So... Just make sure you're prepared. But being prepared is the best way to like not have to stress out about anything and stay calm. Just, just mellow out. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, comment down below what school you guys are going to. If you guys are on your way to college, or what school you want to go to, or what school you attend, or what your other plans are after high school. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm just passing the bridge.